testing of all these different tests. So let's get right to it. Starting okay. first with blood pressure. Now, what range should it be in and how often should you get your blood pressure checked? The ideal blood pressure is one story of high blood pressure in your family, something to keep an eye on Absolutely. as well, right? For all okay. the things we talk about, if there's a family history, people are getting it checked every year. What are they looking for and, and what are sort of the normal levels and, and what is considered bad cholesterol? So you should start getting your... Women don't have their thyroid function necessarily checked mm -hmm. out unless they start feeling certain symptoms. What are some things to, to f you know, think about and talk with your doctor with and when should you get your thyroid test as well? Now mammogram and mm -hmm. there's a lot of confusion, especially yes. given more recently new guidelines about how often women need mammograms after the age of 40. That's correct. There's two sets of guidelines. You should be doing that as well in conjunction, right? There are, again, conflicts between the two societies' guidelines. The ACS guidelines do... Well, breast exams, that when you go in and you when sort you of have your doctor. doctor and yes. she touches and makes yes. sure everything, there's no lumps there. Okay, pap smears, mm -hmm. we know they can prevent cervical cancers about all the uh, STD screenings right. and the HPV tests. That's right. There's a new HPV DNA test that is routinely done. Carrie Peterson, great information Thank as you. always. Thanks so much. And coming up, last minute Memorial Day getaway is still time to book. We'll tell you where to go right after this. Right. Come on. Really good Come stuff. On,